Hello, Seth here from macOS10screencast.com. In this review I'd like to show you 1Password3 which came out recently in a new meta version and in this review I'd like to focus and concentrate on some of the most valuable features of 1Password3 uh, and these uh, features I'd like to show you in this review. You can download this application from the web from Agile Web Solutions. This application costs money I'm really afraid to, to tell you. You can just go to agilewebsolutions.com slash products slash 1Password3 to download this application and it is a really highly recommended application for the Macintosh. I've already opened 1Password here and you see on the left side the so-called vault where all our logins, accounts, identities, secure nodes, software, licenses are stored. Uh, the software licenses are new in 1Password 3. It is now possible to save uh, software licenses directly in 1Password and the wallet is new as well. Below the vault section we are able to create so-called folders, smart folders as well, where we can, this is new to 1Password 3, we can set tags for our password items and we can keep them organized somehow in this text section on the left hand side. You can create uh, folders as well where you can put all your password items which belong to let's say in this case Moss X which is a uh, short term for Mac OS X screencasts. Now let's try out the new functions of 1Password. I go to the web to Twitter and here I'd like to sign up for a, with a new account and once I'm there I just uh, enter, I could enter here my name manually, I, can, I could enter a username manually and I could enter manually my password as well. But we have one password which is, has the so-called identities function and when I'm using the identities function all these things are being automatically filled out and you can create all your identities right inside one password. This is very easy setup. You can set a um, login and when you have signed in all your items are being saved in one password. Here is new. You can hold down some modifier keys to edit, fill or delete some password items. Just hold down the shift key to edit the password items or the other modifier keys. This is really great because you can uh, edit these items right inside the web browser or you can just fill out the, uh, the form and resubmit it manually or you can just delete some items by holding down the shift option. Below are the identities which have been set up inside 1Password. I really like the identities function because it allows me to set a specific uh, username which I like to use whenever I'm registering on a website and I can create or set an email which I like to use with that account. In the account section, this is new in 1Password 3, we can manage all sort of accounts. Just click on the plus symbol here and you can set let's say an FTP account or an instant messenger account, AirPort Extreme, Amazon, a database and whatever you like. In my case I'd like to create an instant messenger uh, account here. I set a username and I set a password and once it's inside one password I can easily look it up there and have it always at my fingertips. You see these uh, attachments uh, section here, you can, this is new to 1Password 3, you can add attachments to your 1Password items. This is brilliant if you like to keep files along with your uh, account data. In the login section you see this beautiful new list where a preview of all uh, websites you're on are listed. You see on the right hand side here we have a preview of the website and when I'm hovering over an item you see this copy button. This allows me to just copy the item I'm currently hovering to the clipboard. 
I click on the item and then on my username and I can then just paste it on the website and it's easily being inserted. This is brilliant and I'm using this one a lot. Okay, back inside one password I'd like to show you another feature which is new, it is called one password anywhere. In the preferences you can set up your data file to be inside the library in my case or you can just move it to wherever you like. Um, I close one password uh, for a moment because I have inside my Dropbox a sim link which I'm showing you now. Here I have my home folder, library, application support, one password and there is a sim link to my one password agile keychain. And now you see one password is now being uploaded to the Dropbox and here I can view my agile keychain and this is a package. Packages are folders which is great because now I can just go inside that folder and once I'm inside that folder I just click on one password dot html the html is being loaded a page appears which allows me to enter my master password and it's the same master password you can set up in one password and once I have inserted my master password here I just unlock this and you see instantly on the left hand side all my logins, identities, secure notes, my software licenses and my wallet. You can have your one password items whenever, wherever you are, whenever you have access to an internet connection you can just go to let's say the Dropbox site and look up all your items this is brilliant. I just love this f new feature. Just visualize how useful this feature really is. Let's assume you have a Windows computer. Just install your Dropbox uh, program there. The one password Agile Kitchen is being downloaded. You go inside, launch the one password HTML file, and you have your well, um, password items on the go. Okay, now the last feature here I'd like to show you. In the preferences, you can set the one password extension to be installed for all different kinds of web browsers. I know other screencasts are featuring this function as well, but I really really like this one because I'm able to use one password with Safari, with Firefox, with Opera and all other browsers which are out there on the Macintosh. Okay, now last but not least, let's use actually uh, one password now I switch to the uh, main launch page of twitter.com there I click on sign in and then I can easily hit a shortcut which automatically fills out my login data I just like to log in with my Mac screencast account here I hit return and then I'm brought to the Twitter page here you see a friend of mine's uh, girlfriend his name is der dev blogger you may follow him on Twitter I know that lists are existing and now you see on the Twitter side my tweets f uh, about all our screencasts and you know one password is just brilliant okay I'm very proud to say that we have to give away three free licenses for one password just leave us a comment of your most favorite feature of one password or retweet our tweet on Twitter and you have the possibility to win one of those licenses have fun with this application and our website bye